Okay, so let's talk about circuit bending. Adding glitch artifacts is a really great way to add style and texture and energy to your edits, and there are a lot of different ways to do it. It's really easy to add overlays or to just use the tools inside of the software you already have. You can add plugins or filters on top of the video, and then you can go the analog route, whether that's putting your videos onto an actual VHS tape and then capturing that back, filming a screen with a VHS camera. Some people just use VHS cameras on set all in pursuit of getting a unique texture and a unique style for their edits. And this little device that I'm gonna show you today is just another tool in your toolbox for creating super unique, super awesome glitch textures. So to create these circuit bending effects, let's talk about signal path really quick. I'm gonna start with video that's actually playing on my laptop and I'm gonna send it through this little device which converts an HDMI input into an RCA output. So once your video is converted over to RCA, RCA into this little box, then we take the RCA out of this and you can plug it into any old CRT TV that you have. And to capture the textures at the end, you can either use a little recorder like this or record into your computer or and the method I'm going to show you is just film the screen using your camera. So as I'm setting up this loop of footage to play on my MacBook, I'm mirroring my display so that what I see on the MacBook screen is going to be what I see on the CRT. And I'm going to go ahead and set my aspect ratio to four by three, since that's roughly the aspect ratio of the CRT TV. So the knobs and the switches and the buttons on this visual noise enhancer control the different effects, control the different image styles that you can get out of this. You can read through the quick start guide or you can just start messing around, which is kind of what I did and just trying combinations slowly making adjustments you'll see that sometimes a blue screen may come up that's just because the signal isn't strong enough to get to the crt and so you want to dodge the blue screen while still creating a cool looking effect so once you mess around with it you're getting to a point where you want to start recording some of these and digitizing them so you can bring them into your edit what i do is i get the camera as close as possible zoom in as close as i can onto the screen get the image in focus and block any sources of light or reflection that are going to make the screen wash out. Then go ahead and start playing your video, hit record on your camera and see what happens. Stylistically, you can approach what you're doing sort of in two different ways. There's the method of these are just going to be super quick intercut images. And so you want to create maybe a crazy effect and then you just want to crank it so that it goes to a blue screen really quickly so then you can transition out. Or if you're going to be resting on the image for a little bit longer, maybe you just want to dial in one specific look and then record the whole clip with that look. Or you can do a slowly evolving look that doesn't go too crazy and doesn't go to a blue screen so that you have to transition out of it. Of course, this is entirely subject to what you need for your edit and the style that you're looking to accomplish. And so once you're done recording all of your clips, you'll have this awesome batch of clips that have unique textures that are unlike anything else out there that you can bring into your editing software. You can use blend modes and overlays and all sorts of stuff on top of that to give your edits a super, super unique feel. So I'll end this video with what I call my options clause, which is to say that anything in the signal path, you have a ton of different options. I demoed using my laptop as the source of video, but that doesn't have to be the only thing. As long as you can get it to be an RCA input into the video synth, it can work. So whether that's using your PC desktop, whether that's going straight out of your camera, you can use a VCR, you can use DVDs, whatever works to get the look that you want, do that. And same thing on the other side, I'm using this tiny little free CRT that I found. You can use a bigger CRT. You could send it into a flat screen. You could even use a broken LCD or something if that's the look that you're going for. And then as far as recording it, use your camera, mess around with different picture profiles, different white balances. Or if you don't wanna use a camera, you could capture it directly to a capture card or one of those little boxes that just records an RCA output. Now this does take a ton of time. If you don't have a lot of time, use a plugin, use an overlay. Absolutely, I do that too all the time. But if you have the time, going the analog route allows you to create something that's completely original and it's actually just a lot of fun to mess around and create something that's never been made before. So there you have it. Products, further reading, other examples, those are all in the description down below and I'll see you in the next one. All right, Drew, do your magic.